welcome back to the channel. My name is Benji. We're gonna do some surf fishing. I've been off the sand for a little while now, but I'm excited to be back. We're gonna be chasing some halibut today. I'll be throwing some lucky crafts, some swim baits, and maybe some micro jigs, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can get lucky. I'll show you what I'm using along the way. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys, and as always, tide lines. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, I haven't been on a surf for a while. I've been pretty busy with uh, family and Got a new boat that I've been spending time on. Hope you saw that episode. Um, but we're back. This particular stretch of sand has been really, really dead for, I don't know how long, five months. But I'm throwing the Lucky Craft today. This is the MS Cherry Berry. I'm throwing it with the Phoenix Trifecta Light, 903, medium light, and the Daiwa Fuego 2500. So we're gonna kinda just quickly move around here and the water's super nice. It's kind of the way we want it. It's a low tide, bottomed out at about a 0.3. So we're gonna try to hunt some structure up here and maybe, maybe we can get lucky. There's a little trough here, man. Oh, there's a fish right as I was speaking. Oh, baby. And it's pulling some drag. It's a decent fish. I think it's a croaker because I feel some uh, pretty active head shakes. Oh, baby. Yeah, it's a fish though. It's not a ray. We'll see what it is. But yeah, I, I, I've been walking and I uh, fell into a little trough here right in front of me. I'm like, man, there might be something holding in here. And it uh, looks like we got something half decent. So I'm slowly walking back here. Let's see what it is. I, I don't know what, it, what, what, what that thing is. Got some fight in him. Not huge, but he's feisty. Let's see what it is. Oh, we got a bass. It's a pretty decent sand bass. Close to illegal though. We'll check it out. Yeah, that might be illegal. So it's a pretty decent size. I Man, I haven't caught a fish here in so long that I'm always surprised to get a strike. <clears throat> Just curious as to see how big this guy is. Yeah, it's illegal. Yeah, mouth fully closed. He's right at the 14. We're not going to keep him, but it's kind of cool to say you caught illegal. All right, guys, he's all sandy, but uh, got a little, got a barely legal sand bass on the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow 110, and we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. I'll talk to you guys in a second here. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. Get you bigger, make lots of babies. You know, do your thing out there. There you go. Wrong way, buddy. He's gonna be just fine. He's very feisty. All right, guys, so got him on the Lucky Craft, and this beach has really flattened out a lot. I think uh, with recent swells, uh, the sand has really filled in. But um, I, as I was walking north, I noticed a little drop off. I had to wade, wade out, walk right way out there because the flat, sand is so flat. And right when I noticed the hole, I started talking like, I think there's gonna be something holding here. Um, the sand bass hit. So Lucky Craft Flash Minnow 110, always a productive lure. But as always, find the structure, find the fish. Let's try to get some more. All right, guys, so I wanted to jump in with a little freeze frame to show you the trough that I was talking about. And as I start the video, you can see the wave cresting, the little roller coming in. You can see it pounding down right there. And the reason why it's doing that is because the water is passing over a hole, deeper water, and then it's slapping down onto the hard pack. You can even see the water splashing up as it runs over the ledge, and that's where the drop-off is. When you see something like this, you're going to want to make a few casts over those rollers as fish are likely to hold in that kind of structure. This next clip, let's take a look at the roller coming in. You see it cresting right there in the middle, and then you see it pounding down. I'm standing in about 8 inches of water, and beyond that roller, it goes about waist deep. That's the hole. That's where you want to cast. But enough of my jibber-jabber. Let's see if there's any other fish holding inside that structure. Is that a fish? Oh, I got a little halibut. <laughs> Look at that. It's like big as the LC. So 
So although that was a tiny, 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 tiny. Oh, there's another bite. Oh, I just missed the hit. Holy cow, there's fish holding here, guys, and they're active. Oh boy. Let's get one more decent fish here. Oh, there's a fish. Got him. Oh, oh, come on. Stay pinned. Stay pinned, baby. I don't know how well I have him, dude. But it's another decent fish. He's, he's feisty. Probably another bass. Come on, baby. Love to get eyes on you. Uh, what is this? It looks like another sand bass. A decent one, too. Uh, maybe another legal, based on the weight of him. Yeah, it's another sand bass, I think. Ah, uh, smaller, but by Oh, no. Woo! Looks almost identical to the one I caught. Man, they're such good fighters. This one, it looks like another legal. There he is, guys. Little sand bass. Put a tape on him. Yeah, just short of legal, but still a good fish. All right, guys, sand bass number two. Just short of legal, about 13 and a half inches. Um, and switched patterns to the electric runyon. Um, and the fish are really active here. So I want to get this guy unbuttoned and get him back in the water and let's see if we can catch some more. Um, Fun session so far, guys. Fun session. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. Let's go. There you go. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. There you go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You got this, like a Corbina. <laughs> 